Hi, Taurus. Welcome into your reading. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, we're going to read for the second week of May. All right, let's see what's going on here for you, Taurus, please. What's going on here for my beautiful Taurus? All right, second week of May for Taurus, please. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This is you creating a burden of some kind. Um, not creating. Is that the wrong word? There's something here with the Seven of Swords where you're either strategizing something at work or there's something you're doing in the shadows. So if that's an affair or you're sneaking around with someone or you're keeping someone or something a secret, it's creating a burden for you. It's putting a toll on you. All right, but at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Four of Wands. This means you're elevating something, you're uh, upgrading something. So it's an upgrade at work or an upgrade in your home or your car or something like that, or an upgrade in a relationship. You're going from lovers to a couple, a couple to moving in, moving in to getting engaged. You get it. All right, we'll see because that's behind the deck. Right now, we in Shady Land, we creating some kind of burden for ourselves because... We're either ghosting someone or they're ghosting us. I mean, we. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm a Taurus. Um, you. They're ghosting you or you're ghosting someone or there's something going on in the shadows or you're strategizing something, but it's becoming a burden. It's taking a toll on you. Um, what is it that's coming towards Taurus, please? That's your card, the magician. You're trying to manifest something. Oh. Oh. Maybe it is a relationship, maybe it is a job, maybe it's a business, something. But you're using your heartstrings to do it, okay? Mind you guys, this could be vice versa because cards are energy. I don't know if I'm reading for you or the other person, but this is the common thread. This is the main messages because we're reading the cards. But make no mistake, this is asking someone out on an emotional level to go talk about your feelings on a certain situation. Whether it's about you two or how you feel about something. Or someone so this could be with your friends this could be with your family this could be with a lover this is somebody you're interested in of course it can be vice versa but you're definitely manifesting a situation because you're at the precipice of your life of moving forward you're leaving something else behind and you're going ahead with a new gen a new agenda a new plan what is it that Taurus doesn't see coming their way please You have to make a decision of some kind because you obviously have options, all right? You just don't know which ones are the best options for you because you want to bring in stability for you. You want to bring in the best option for you. The only thing that might be holding you back is this Five of Cups, and it's in the cross position. The Five of Cups talks about guilt, regret, the coulda, woulda, shoulda, or something that we've done that we felt guilty for. Now, those feelings is what's blocking you or confusing you from making that choice because if that, those emotions weren't there you wouldn't be confused as to what you needed to do or how to move forward and sometimes the best solution is just fuck it go forward take one action as one action begets the next action and then it starts unfolding to you a picture uh, of what it's looking like and it's okay to course correct or reverse but at least you're making moves and not you're not staying stuck, Taurus. Um, happy birthday again to you, Taurus is out there. Uh, advice for my Taurus, please. Yeah, the Hermit, which is a Virgo energy. And the Page of Cups. You do need a timeout. You do need to be making some wise decisions. But moreover, this is like, think about all your experiences, because you are wise. You've lived a long life, a life of a lot of shit in your world, enough to know what is the right decision to make. And the Page of Cups talks about sending out a message, a light and fluffy one. That's like sending out an email. That's like sending out a text. That's saying, hey, what's up? How are you? That's like putting out your resume or putting out feelers. That's what Page of Cups is can also be talking about accepting. We'll see when we clarify it a little bit. 
But moreover, this is definitely something to do with partnership. All right? Being a couple. It looks like you and somebody else feel mutually about each other. So it's not one-sided. All right? Because this seems like soul connections. Uh, this could also talk about business partners. So take a time out. Think things through so you can make that wise decision for yourself. Um, you keep those feelers going out there, but it's definitely something in regards to do with another person. All right. Or at least the dynamic where you're in a partnership with someone romantic or otherwise outcome for the week, please. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then I see the lovers at the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Cups. Okay, we have a King and Queen. Kings and Queens are sets, okay? They're court cards. And Kings and Queens match each other of status and level. Uh, however, you are my Queens, whether you're male or female, the Kings for me are incoming. So we can discern who's, who's who. You are coming off as the Queen of Cups, somebody who's got their feelings open. Somebody who is available for love. Somebody who is emotionally mature. And you're ready to rock and roll in that department. But what's crossing you is this person. Sure, they could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. They don't have to be that sign. This is a person that's coming off as somebody very cerebral. Someone intelligent. Somebody fair, balanced, honest, unbiased. But they're not screaming the I love you's. They're not talking about their feelings. But they're there in your cross and at the bottom of the deck is the lovers and that's the thing about lovers there's an intense connection between the two of you but you have to make a decision if you're more than lovers because that's not a boyfriend or a girlfriend that's not a husband or a wife that's somebody you do shit with in the shadows or you keep on the down low until you're ready to expose them but usually what are the two of you if you're in the lover lane one of the two of you is keeping this at bay because you're not certain. You're not certain about the other person. You're not certain if they're a right fit in your world. You're not certain if they're going to blend well. There's all these reasons. They, there could be an age disparity. There could be a huge age gap. It could be anything. They could be financial. It, so many reasons. Why? They're not just like a no-brainer. There's things but you two together are a hot connection you make sense you make shit happen but can you bring it out of the shadows all right let's continue and see what's going on because there's a lot of argument and fighting and under that is the lover card all right some of you i also see fire sign here what is Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Four Taurus, please. Six of Wands. You feel vindicated. You feel validated. You feel somebody acknowledges you. Somebody notices you. This can be at work or this can be a lover. But this is somebody who comes back to you. Um, maybe somebody who ghosted you somebody that you thought wasn't interested in you somebody where there was an ending or a betrayal of some kind um no they come back and they tell you they're all about you all right what is the knight of cups and the magician so now here you are trying to manifest a situation with this person. Oh, look at this. Three of Swords. You're in profound pain, Taurus. This is no joke. I don't know if you're trying to manifest a scenario where you can go back to this person that caused you the pain. Or you're trying to get over this person with another person. Some of you are just there. Because look, let me tell you something. The Tower and the Three of Swords go hand in hand. There's something heartbreaking here for you. Something that fell apart. 
okay whether it was your job a relationship a big fight a big like out of nowhere you weren't expecting this and it's bothering you so now there's either an apology going out or there's some kind of thing where you're trying to manifest a scenario where you can discuss a certain situation I don't see new people yet. I see just whoever this is in your head. And this is who the story is for. What is the five of cups in cross with the eight of cups, please? The devil. The star and the sign of pentacles in reverse. This is not investing in someone. This is not investing in a thing, person, or project, or finances. And whatever investment you didn't make is making you feel like you're, it's, you're questioning yourself. Like there's some regrets. Um, but that's the devil. You can't do that. The devil fucks us up like that. And then we go down a rabbit hole and it takes us forever to come out of that stupid hole. So we started thinking all these dumb shit about ourselves I said, oh like you beat yourself up I, why did i do this why did i do that coulda woulda shoulda doesn't matter it was the past it's time for a new beginning and then the star remaining positive and hopeful there's no place for regret right now it's done you have a new chapter ahead and if this isn't you then that's them and you're dealing with somebody toxic here and you're just done investing in them you're like i'm over it and you're remaining positive and hopeful and you're looking at your new options in life like where to go next or what to do. Two of Swords. But you are torn. Stay, go, move on, etc. The Hermit. You're wise enough to know now to make that right choice. Let's continue. Hermit and the Page of Cups, please. See, the universe did so certain things for you, Taurus. You have a bunch of cards, but they all make sense. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, and Four of Pentacles. I think what's happening to you, Taurus, right now is the universe did certain things to you in the recent past to force you ahead. Like we had the eclipses in April. And we had the retrogrades. The retrogrades make us reflect on things uh, from our past and people in certain situations. And we rethink things, or at least we reframe the way we think about something. So we stop and we don't think about it the same way we used to. We get out of our own way. So that was the universe pushing the wheel forward in your life to make those changes, those moves. You're seeing that happen now because now it's coming to light for you and it's coming into your head. But now you're stuck in this place where you have to make a decision. Do you stay? Do you go? Do you work with this person or you don't? Do you choose between these two people, two paths, two whatevers? It's creating a burden for you and it's exhausting you because you feel like now you're all over the place. Um, this is not happy for you. This could either be unrequited love or you just aren't thrilled with your options. All right, and then the four of pentacles because you're still holding on to something else. You will never love or be open to something new when you're still holding on to something else from your past. You have to let it go. All right, whether it's a memory, something that fell apart, something that failed for you, some kind of loss you had, whether it was literally financially or a person, it's holding you back. Okay, because the fours talk about our structure and you have two fours now. The universe made things happen for you. They pushed you along to make choices, to go into a direction. And then once you go in that direction, Taurus, you're going to know what the right choice is. That's why you have the hermit here in your advice position. Throw out a text message. Something light and fluffy, but sweet, coming from an emotional place. That is the first step. And you will see. You will see the direction it will take you in. All right, because the bottom of the deck is also showing me the Fool, which is an Aries card. And it's telling me you're going to take a leap of faith and a risk, and you're going to put yourself out there. Either by yourself, not needing this bullshit, or taking a risk with someone or something. Like a project. 
All right, now, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords, please. Judgment. You're going to make a final decision regarding this person, individual. But what I do like, the sun, total happiness, total happiness. I think, Taurus, that someone's going to rush in and tell you something. And I think that it might kind of like leave you feeling as if, you know what? I think I like this person. I think I like this person a lot, but I don't think you thought of them like that before. Let me have a few more. I just, all I know is the sun is like the happiest card in the deck. And that's the ultimate feeling that every human being strives for. Yeah, nine of pentacles, that's you taking that leap of faith with the fool, going out and putting yourself out there. Uh, eight of wands, just throwing spaghetti up against the wall, seeing what sticks. But the moon, not knowing what the future holds for you. A little worried and nervous that, you know, you're, because you're looking for stability in a way. And you're like, will this give me stability? Will it not? I'm not hearing feedback. What the fuck do I know? So for you, it's nerve wracking. But I think when you make this judgment call, you're like, oh, you feel relieved. You're like, oh, finally, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I made my decision. And then that brings on your happiness. And it has everything to do with this person, this couplehood here, at least for this week, second week of May. Oh, unicorns, what you got to say? My snarky little unicorns, what you got to say to my... One more shuffle. Any messages, little unicorns you want to give to Taurus, please? Two messages. And both red cards. What's up with that? Believe what you see. Ooh. Face reality or live in a fucking la la land. Choose bravely. That's why you have a hermit card. Think wisely. And you are the best thing to ever happen to you. Mm, go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. You don't need nobody. Be easy on yourself. Don't be beating yourself up. All right. Cute little cards over there. Romance angels, what you say over here? For my Taurus clan, please. Worth waiting for. And calling in your soulmate. Okay, so that's what, what's worth waiting for. You're waiting for your soulmate to come in. So all the while that this shit is all going on in your life, the universe is making moves on your behalf with the Wheel of Fortune, as we said before. Yes, you recently suffered some sort of pain. Some of you, it could be years. And triggers keep coming back. So it, April was a big month and the way the planets and the stars are aligning for Taurus, you are meant to be lucky in your love sector. Um, but the universe is working it out. We'll see. We'll, we'll get clarity on this in the extended reading when we drop more cards on this. Okay. Wisdom House of Night. What say you to my Taurus, please? loyalty you have a loyalty to yourself too so there's that i feel like you guys get this card sometimes quite often maybe it's a reminder you know it's like you are the most important thing to yourself you are the best thing that ever happened to you the unicorn said it there you go you need nothing or no one you are awesome so as you are you have chosen the symbol of loyalty, and this means you are being called to stand up for who and what you believe in. Do you know the story of the beautiful girl who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times, and you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person or cause or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. 
This is a true test of character. I know you're going to choose rightly. Stand up for what you believe and be loyal only to what is true and good. Loyalty. All right. Guys, I hope this helped. We're going to go into the extended and see how your person feels for you, their intentions towards you, and we're going to throw some cards on uh, the love angels and see what the romance angels are trying to say. All right, guys. Everyone else, I'll see you next week.